Hello everybody and welcome back to more Adam RPG where we're just on our way to hand in our quest. We're finally passing along the water filter. Which is really exciting. Also, I'm really starving, so I need to eat like right now. Um because apparently I didn't do that before. So let's roast some meat, cook. Mmm. Tasty Morlock meat? Is that what this is? I think yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I think that's that's probably about it. Tasty, tasty, not so tasty Morlock meat. Mm. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum. Or not. Okay, off to the mushroom cult to hand in our water filter and see where that goes. Um, and then the next thing that we kind of need to do is make our way down to um, Ugalefka again and cross the mountain pass of woes or go to the mountain pass of woes really um yeah that's kind of what we got to do uh let's go to the apothecary dude though and or the pharmacy dude and let's send him some sell him some stuff uh because we have way too much stuff i'm also being climbed upon by a kitty cat this is not helpful when recording video games let me tell you there's a kitty cat on top of my arm right now He's been doing that the last couple of days and i don't know why he's just being very needy now the kitty cat is on top of me i don't like this <laughs> help <laughs> cat i'm working cat i'm working could you not press buttons on the keyboard please oh my god hi barter with me please please barter with me there you go okay what do you have 613 okay that's not that much that is not that much but i guess we'll just have to uh that'll have to do for now do you have any um oh no you do not oh wait well, uh, now those are those are 30s Oof, i don't need those do you have any nine no nope, no nine millimeters no okay 613 ah we've got some stuff one of those this that terrible gun maybe the tire the weighted glove and that's too much already um only stims can i buy like a one stim or something yeah you do i could buy a stim uh let's see now we need to get back up that way for four i have this do i have another one do i have another tin can maybe somewhere no, I've got a fork though. There you go. And then maybe do you have something? Oh well that I just looked through you, didn't I? Do you have something? No, do I have something? Maybe. Yes, I do. I do indeed have something actually. Perfect. Oh, that's too much now. How is that too much now? Why is that so much worth so much? okay i'll guess i'll put one back there we go we'll, we'll do it this way that was that was okay sure sure fine that's fine mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. fine 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 all right um to wait where on the map am i i need to go here there we go to the weapons guy and then to the mushroom cult it is but first let's see what the weapons guy has maybe maybe i'll just buy another grenade or two or three or five also i need to reload my weapon there we go thank you before i forget it because i do not want to be caught without any ammo at all in my weapon because that was just bad barter oh do 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 Oof, you've got loads of yeah Ooh, automatic firearms though we don't have the um that's a lot of nine millimeter rounds at diggity damn uh yeah we don't have the we don't have we can't use automatic rifles we do not have the skill for it so the the one problem is with this guy is that he never gives you much money for anything so um i'm just not gonna sell him anything any any bits i'm just gonna like literally just straight up pay for those and then i need to give fetal some not all but like a few 
because I don't think he has many. So we'll give him like click, 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 40. There we go. Done. Close. Changed my mind. Goodbye. I'm leaving. Off to the mushroom cult it is. Which is right over here. Oh, I also need to make that grenade. Um, because I had that I have I have material for a for the for to make a grenade. I'm just not very good at crafting it, but we do have it. Okay, so if I make uh wait, where is it? F1 grenade. I have this, I need the dynamite. Put that give that to me. And I need metal, huh? Little bits. Give that to me as well. Close that. Save it. Mute myself for a second because I need to sme sneeze. Save again. And let's try it. Uh, wait, where did the... Wait, where did the grenade go? Wait, what? Where did my training grenade... Oh, why did you have that hex again? No. You're not supposed to have that. I'm supposed to have that. And then we'll go F1 grenade. Craft? 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 Nope. Reload. <laughs> We're so bad at it. We are so bad at it. It's ridiculous. I'm just, I just did not build a crafting character. Craft. Nope. And again. Uh, let's try again. Could you? Oh my God, my cat. I'm sorry, my cat. He is lying literally top on top of the keyboard again. Nope. Oh my God. I just wasted so much material trying that. That's ridiculous. Yes okay there we go finally good thank you saving perfect i made it i got the grenade i did it okay hello you there artyom i've got your water filter hi uh oh wait i need to put it in my inventory because i don't think it counts if i if i'm not the one who's got it in their inventory huh there we go now i'm encumbered hi hi where's the water filter it's done i have the filter you need no way you found it that's great give it to me uh well we're getting a oh don't forget about the principle of humility one merchant right here in the building will give you a nice discount Oof. even the filter artium takes the filter and examines it carefully then with a happy smile he places it in an inconspicuous drawer in the wall wonderful you can't imagine how much you've helped mankind if we can start producing these tools ourselves life will get easier for people everywhere glad to be of service Artyom twists his moustache and lapses into thought the next task will be much harder both from the moral point of view and the skills you'll need to complete it I'll start from the beginning as it is a very sensitive issue I've uh, you've had enough time to see that mycelium is of no danger to anyone isn't plotting against anyone isn't in anyone's way you understand that now don't you I can see in your eyes that you do otherwise you would have left long ago no one's keeping you here against your will and yet Despite our totally unaggressive attitude, we have enemies. Atium clutches his fists and turns away slightly to hide his contempt. Uh, cross your arms in silence. There are enemies of progress. Villains and heretics, uh, heretics who make it their sacred duty to throw a wrench in our wheels whenever they have a chance. In every project, every social initiative. Since we are scientists rather than gangsters, we choose to ignore these pathetic, narrow-minded people. But some of them refuse to be ignored. Take, for example, the wealthy merchant Vadim Nikodimich Pavliuk. At every governmental meeting, he does look his—he does his best to upset our plans. He urges the member of the Com uh, Chamber of Commerce to vote for yet another inspection of our society, or to close us down altogether, or to recognize us as a terrorist group. Yes, he, he has a vivid imagination, uh, a bit a bit warped, and this makes him very dangerous, both to us and the ordinary people who are striving to help. Continue listening in silence. No, no, no. He should be made to see reason, to think about his sinning. I'm not talking about killing or mangling him, mind you. This is what terrorists and gangsters do. They simply want him to send a message. In his chambers below the Chamber of Commerce, Vadim Nikodemich keeps a pet pig. Apparently, he values the pig life far more than the lives of the wastelanders or science. Exterminate this ridiculous pet of his and leave a note by its corpse. What happens that depends on not on us, but on upon Comrade Pavlik's common sense. Uh, wait, you mean I have to kill the pig? The task is a bit unconventional. I'll grant you that, but you have to admit it's better than killing the man himself. Why does he keep a pet pig as a pet? I don't know, but apparently he's very attached to the animal, but not so much, I think, as to place the pet's life above his own. You have connections in the Chamber of Commerce bunker? 
Artyom's eyes flesh mischievi mischievously. You have connections in many places. Uh, I mean, I'll agree to it for now, but I don't want to kill the piggy. No. Can I tell him about that? I don't want to kill the piggy. Can I tell the dude that there is there's an attempt on his life? I don't want to kill the piggy. I don't want to. Even if it's for the good of mankind, I don't want to. And you can't make me. Nobody can make me. I might just, I might just rush down to Fogolevka and leave. <laughs> and, then, and then people in Krasnos Nami will never see me ever again. Let's see. Can I tell you? Where is it? Over here. You're over here, right? Uh, there you are. Somebody wants to kill your pig. Can I tell you that? Let's see. Are we walking? Yep, there we are. Good. Hello, what is it this time? Uh, what is your name? The freezes and gives you a long, suspicious look. Then he pries without taking his eyes off of you. Plaviuk, Vadin Niku, uh, Nikodimovic, what are you asking? So you're the one I'm looking for. The Secretary General wants to talk to you. Are you serious? Couldn't you have sent someone I know? Anyways, I got you. I'll go and see him immediately. Oh! Oh, I just made him go now. I don't. I didn't want to do that. I went to be safe. Do not distract. Oh, I don't want to kill the pig. No, I didn't mean to do that. Was there an auto save when I went inside the bunker? Uh, auto save. Yes, there was. I don't want. I don't want. No, 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 no. I don't want to kill the. Where? Oh my god, I keep getting turned around here. No, no, no. I don't want to. I don't want to kill the pig. No, no, no. I was... I didn't mean to lie to him. I'm sorry. Uh, what's your name? Vadim. Uh, you might believe it, but someone wants to kill your pig. The man goes pale and steps away from you, then regains his composure and shakes his head skeptically. Of course, I do believe you sure as hell that was a good try to attack my attention. Better luck next time. Uh, I'm telling you the truth. The mushroom followers want to teach you a lesson. And how do you know this? Mm, I'm from Atom. They're the ones who sent me. I'm from Atom. Atom, I see interesting things with the information. Now go, I have to think about it. Really? We will contact you. Okay, sure. I, d I don't think he will. I don't think he'll contact me. Uh, so what are the quests left? Factory. Um. But it, it still says I have to talk to Dan about more stuff. But there is not really more stuff. To oh. Whoa. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I probably shouldn't have told him. I shouldn't have told him I'm from Adam. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope, that was definitely not the right thing to do. Because I just got my butt kicked. Oh boy. Okay, don't mention Atom. Do not mention Atom. Nope. Do not mention Atom. Uh, what's your name? Uh, someone wants to kill your pig. Uh, the mushrooms. They are the ones who sent me, but I wanted to warn you. He needs a heavy, heavy deep sigh and wraps his forehead. So I was right to suspect them of every imaginable sin. Thanks for warming me. Wait. The man rummages in his pockets, finally extracts a thick bottle of banknotes. 700 rubles for warming me. Now I'll be on my guard. Could you explain why you need a pig? This is confidential. Just take the money and leave. Why do you dislike them in the first place? First, where do they get their funding from? Second, why do they poke their lows, long nose everywhere? And third, and most importantly, bloody hell cat. Sorry. <laughs> my cat is right next to my keyboard. And somehow you managed to press sh both shift and tab at the same time. <sighs> and third, and most important, it's happened more than once that some decent citizens were suddenly haunted by all kinds of mishaps which, which stopped right after they swore their allegiance to the cult. Hmm. Thanks, I'll put it to good use. All right, I'll, I'll go then. Okay, this is a lot. Okay, my quest log an update no that's just that okay castle dead city mountain pass of warrior dead city wastes i'm still looking for the car which i kind of know but the problem is um 
I can't repair the car. I can't make it go. I know where it is. I just need to get the technology up. All right. So, for the left car, I guess it is, huh? You go to the, you go to the wastes, uh, to the you know mountain paths of woe and stuff like that. <gasps> New areas to explore. Oh, this is exciting because I don't think Dan has anything for me. Wait, what? Why did you stop? I didn't click anything. Apparently, I did though. Why are we going the wrong way? Oh my god, we are going so the wrong way. Yeah, we're totally going the wrong way. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, totally the wrong way. Let's go this way. We'll just follow you. I don't know why I made the loop. I clicked on the map, but I guess I might have not clicked on the right spot or I accidentally clicked down there. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, the cat did something. Blame it. Blame the cat. Blame the cat. Blame the cat on everything definitely for sure okay and then you go further that way and then straight ahead and then we need to go to fogolefka which was down in the west um, like southwest or something hmm but that's yeah yeah, yeah, for like for Golefka. We have the money for the caravan, so we should be fine. I can't repair the car, which is really annoying me. But oh well. So for Golefka is there. Let's go. Maybe we'll meet some um caravan uh, train caravans on the way there. That would be really good. We still have quite a lot of stuff in our pockets. Okay, we're fine. Oh try to escape? yay i escaped the wolves cool all right i'll take it i'll take it not gonna lie i'll just take that let's go around that bit and, oh doomstick i'll talk my way out yeah i will take my way talk my way out of that one i i just don't have the i just don't have the space to, to deal with more people and loot them and and you know do all of that stuff uh roast some meat leave and then we'll go that way we'll go out that way and see <clears throat> and then continue to fogolefka fogolefka i don't know why i just sang that it's a thing we get a thing what's the thing now we're singing about fogolefka that's what we're doing apparently singing about the town um oh come on murder is doom doomsday cult again why does everybody want to murder me i'm just trying to help people that is just rude wow no trading caravan whatsoever oof rough very rough right Ogalefka, here we are perfect um you there are the one i need to talk to i believe right if i recall correctly hello mr driver do you need to go to the mountain paths of woe yes what's your price uh the price i'm willing to offer you is five thousand you won't find anyone who will drive you there for less speechcraft uh wait um if i put on my hat that gives me speechcraft points hi what's your price speechcraft success you give you discount three grand is that a good price um let's go sweet yay we got it cheaper okay for for items with stats okay and i'm hungry again of course of course i'm hungry again is anybody surprised no yeah no me neither all right use and use there we go okay um i suppose will you drive me back as well then master's mark gives you a truly trusted very critical look it seems like the car has its own wheel in the grave but you are ready to bet that a rusty pick will do more than one or two trick expeditions like this Feeling it good for a ride i think i'm going back already can you give me a ride i was just passing by all right cool um so this is new 
What does this map look like? Oh, this is the car caravanserai. You approach the entrance of the stone building and place your hands on your sides, admiring the architecture that is definitely unusual for the wasteland. At this very moment, an unshaven, mustached little man starts walking towards you from besides the building wall. He addresses you in a friendly manner. Hello to you too. How do you like your caravanserai? It's impressive, powerful structure. The little man touches the warm stone wall and nods with content. Indeed, a true beauty. As long as artifacts like these exist in our world, we humans are gonna be okay. I believe that. The short man turns towards you and extends his hand with a benevolent smile. You instinctively, sh uh, instinctively shake it and notice that the grip is strong and his skin is rough. I'm Jafarov, the guide. Uh, pleasure to make your acquaintance. Where can you guide me to? Because you see, I love to travel. I can take you to the old castle or to the uh, to the Zagorem Zagoremsk waterfall, or I can take you to no, forget about it. Your options are the castle and the waterfall, and they truly are something. It will cost you just 10 rubles per walk. And there's the lightning. Your options are the... Uh, da, da, da. It will cost you 10 rubles, and I will show you the most scenic route that's free from monsters and gangsters. Where else can you take me? It's not important, so what's it gonna be? The old castle or the waterfall? What are you most interested in? I need to go now. Okay, we have a quest here. Karavanserai. Ivan Ivanovich comes with me and asked me to have a chat with a comrade Marumov for the Karavanserai. Okay, Mamudov. Mamudov. Oh my goodness. Hello. Oh my goodness. Cat. Jeez. How? How do you keep doing that at the same time? <sighs> Cats. Love them. And then sometimes you just yell at them. <laughs> uh, obviously, he doesn't know better, but oh, you're being a pain in the butt today. Uh, you see a bald, tough guy sitting in front of you. His hands are clenching a clay cup with some kind of suspicious liquid. His body is safely covered by heavy armor. Having noticed you, the big guy lazily salutes you with two fingers and without blinking an eye takes a sip from his glass. Hello there, traveler. Are you interested in doing a little work? Because I can tell you that you're in a hell of a gal. What's this job you're talking about? It will suit you perfectly. There'll be fighting, shooting, and slashing involved. Nothing a real wastelander wouldn't like. It's a real job. It's a job for a real hunter. Who are you? I am a merchant and adventure seeker from the north. However, right now I'm no mood for any extra adventures. The man points at his right leg. You lower your gaze in an involuntary shiver. His leg is covered with dirty, bloody bandages stained with yellow, uh, serosanguinous fluid. The skin underneath them is blue and covered in necrotic stains. Yes, it is how it is. I've been treated by some mutants. If my leg doesn't fall off, it will heal well. This is my first rodeo. But for now, the only thing I can do is sit here and sell things. And for this reason, I need some help from a traveling adventure. Um... Raise one eyebrow and start in your shoulders. Fine, listen here. You see, this one fat cat from Trudograd had ordered a crown made entirely from wolf fangs. A crown. What does he even need it for? Whatever. It's not important. What is important is that I can't get the required fangs myself. Uh, how many do you need? Not that many. 30 should be more than enough. Oh, no. Why have I sold all of them? And let me be honest with you. Any fangs will do because my client is able to tell the difference. What do you say? I'll get them to you. I'm not worried at all. I can tell you that you can trust you completely. About those fangs. Uh, not just rhyme and say, uh, I'll just say, I'm gonna look, wait for, look for them. No, no, no. Hi. Uh, barter? Nope. Show me what you got. 300? Okay. Uh, rounds. No special pistol ammo. Grumble, grumble. Yeah. I'll take those. Oof, not a lot. Okay, what if I sell you this? Okay, what if I take these off of your hands? And these off of your hands. We definitely can get somewhere. Cool. And then 40 more. Can we? We can totally scrounge up 40, can't we? Somehow. Uh, there we go. 22. That one and that one. Then we've got 10. What is... Do we have anything that's worth 10? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. We do, we do, we do, we do. At least somewhat. I have this. <laughs> I have one! Yay! Okay, done. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is hexagon. And this is also hexagon. Done. Close. Uh, questions? Alright, why not some answer a question? What do you do here? I walked here. Ah, well, the same as everybody here, I suppose. There's much to do in the north now. It's a great place to be if you enjoy fighting gangsters and catching bullets. But if you're looking to survive, it's best to stay south, closer to Krasnos Namini. I'm not scared of danger, but I'm not willing to risk my life for nothing. Uh, what else do you do? I make things and promise not to laugh. I arm wrestle. Have you heard of arm wrestling? That's what I sometimes do for money. I have plenty of strength and endurance. 
Whoa, 100 rubles? Yeah, sure, here's 100. Uh, three, two, one, let's go. Endurance, withstand the first punch. Success! Your uh, opponent is huffing and puffing and sweating, but his hand doesn't move. It's now your turn to act. Start your attack. Success! You grab onto the table edge and push with difficulty at first, slowly, but then faster and faster, the hand of your opponent starts to go down. Until finally his palm touches the sticky surface of the table. It's over. You won. Wow, you're a strong woman. Respect. Here's 200 rubles. You earned them. Yeah! I'm also wearing a helmet that gives me plus one strength. Hmm. Rumor? People say the particular situation in the central region of the wasteland has become very complicated. I, however, think that it's really painfully simple. There's Krasnos Nami and there's Paragon. They don't like each other and keep pulling stunts on one another, especially Krasnos Nami. And that's it. And this is the story as old as time. It's like the USSR and the US. U U USA. Yeah, you're right. Cool. And then there is... Who, is he? who are you? A bearded old man in a tube... Tube... To Bateka. There we go. A sipping tea from a small porcelain mug and worriedly tapping his fingers on the tabletop. The old man's gaze lingers on you for a moment and he smiles politely. Welcome to the Caravanserai. How can your old man Mahmudov help you today? Uh, who are you? I am the Caravanserai Commandant in the Mountain Pass of Woes. Uh, Comrade Mahmud Mahmudov as the caravaners and travelers like to call me. Should you any help? Uh, personality. Oh, ho, well, aren't we nice? But we could indeed help me. We have a problem that to you may seem insignificant, but we can find we find it rather perturbing. Uh, what is it? Our cook, Arson, has gone missing. The thing is, he isn't just a regular line cook. Oh, no, he's the best cook in all the gorge. He's the favorite of every caravan, adventurer, and mercenary who passes through our inn. Without him here, people are starting to look for an alternate route through the mountains. It may sound weird to you, but while traveling, good food does wonders for his morale. How did it happen? Hmm, I remember him acting weird for some time, smiling for no reason, whistling to himself, behaving suspiciously. Maybe he started smoking weed? What if he's dead? That would be bad, really bad, but I don't think he's dead. Asim was acting strange these past few days. I'm sure something isn't right. Uh, this calls for a thorough investigation. I'll see what I can do. Uh, please do that for no poor Asim, and better yet, bring him back to us. Our lives will be miserable without his cooking. Uh, questions? Mahmoudov, I've been sent from Krasno. You don't say directly from Krasno. What do you want with our ca little Karen Sarai? Uh, they want you to accept their authority. Oh, is that so? Big words coming from a big city woman. You already heard about the problem we have with our chef. Um, bring him back and I'll agree with you. Whatever you ask. Okay, cool. Yeah, sure. For you. You see a tired old man in front of you. From time to time, he bends down with a sign, begins to sweep dust in a dust tray with an old fashioned bone brush. Having noticed you, the old man stands up straight and shoots an unhappy stare in your direction. All these adventurers walking around, go away, don't bother me. Not all of us are wandering the world without any purpose. Some of us need work. No need to get angry. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to. Whoa. The fat man with the matte gaze that's moving frantically from side to side is so surpri surprised when, when you approach him that he almost jumps up. Without wasting any time, he grabs your hand and starts talking quickly. Hey lady, are you an adventurous seeker by any chance? Listen, help me, just help me, man. I will make you worth a while offers the honor that you will get a good, a good reputation among the members of the court. So this is what you'll have to do. Wait, wait a second, let's talk for it. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Who are you? I'm Sasha Stancevich. Drug, hmm. A mailman to the people? Of help to the everyday folk and a friend to the mice. I see. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm trying to catch my breath. The guys from the castle have made me a victim of persecution. They took away my client, but I don't stop talking about it anymore. How do you like this place? It's okay, but I don't feel at home here. Uh, okay. Um, what is it that you want me to do? Satisfied with the fact that he was able to attract your attention, the fat man slaps you on the shoulder and starts telling you his story. You see, I'm a postman. Get it? I'm bringing mail to various people. And I used to bring mail to the old castle as well, when I had a client there. The last time I brought him his mail, I've gotten a little misunderstanding with his friends. I had to run, and long story short, I have lost an important package near the castle. Can you go look for it? I would have invent myself, but I'm afraid they'll shoot me. After all, we had quite a fight. I will pay an even grant. Uh, an even grant is a good money. Sure. I've got it from Grateful Kind, so what's it gonna be? It's a deal. I saw us the forest and bring the package. For now, let's change the topic. Okay. What is this court you're talking about? Ah, that's a good question, lady. At the court of His Majesty Pippin, the Myskin. Or Pippin, the Myskin. Myskin. He lives in the old castle with his young princess and his entourage. Ah, uh, if you could only see the parties they have had there. The mice peasants bake cheese pies and puff pastry with russelas. The mice chefs cook sparrow roast, stuffed pigeons spread in aspic with cheese. 
Uh, okay. I hope you understand these things you describe are purely imaginary. You copy and confident while he opens his eyes. It makes a large sound. I know that I'm not a kid, but how come you don't understand if you start a rumor about something? Will sooner or later come true. Like there's one drug dealer I know, I mean, an experienced mailman. Blue Phil, he introduced himself as Adam to other cops in Castle's nominee. And then one day, some Adam fella just materialized out of nowhere with a knife, a jar full of acid and a couple of questions to my body. It doesn't matter, so even if this my scheme doesn't exist, it will soon appear, and they will find a way to shrink me and include me into their role code. Don't you get it? Imagine how long long a bag of devil wheat will last me if I were the size of a mouse. I would be able to get high every day until the day I retire. Yeah, sure. All right. Barter. Oh, you have like nothing. Okay. Bye. You are not all there, mister. Yep. Well, it seems like we have lots more interesting people to meet, which we'll do next time. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I will see you then. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.